All right. Well, thank you to those of you who are tuning in a little early. We're getting ready to start the uh, AUDL presentation of the San Diego Growlers hosting the Seattle Cascades. I'm Brian Moore, joined by Steve Prodan. To Gibson on the side. Ooh, nearly poached D on Dunn there. Oh, and another one right back, intended for Lee. That was Dante Lopez Escaras. Yeah, just a mistake. There was almost a poach, and I think after he caught it, he kind of threw it quickly to get rid of it. Dunn wants to be downfield a little bit more and just made an errant throw I mean, with a defender right there. Accus with the disc. Oh. Nice throw into the pocket for es Escaras. Nice push pass for the goal. They're all running to the end zone. No one's going to wait. They might give one free one freebie. Yeah, there it is. A floaty flick to the corner. Trevor Purdy is there, and Quekborner gets a piece. Jeez. But it's deflected. And Parker Howard with the awareness to chase it down after the block, maybe even a double block. Like, I saw that happening in slow motion. Like, I saw Trevor was over there. So that's why they say he uh, looks a little slow out there. <laughs> Maybe not getting as much sleep as he'd like. Nice shot there. Ooh, oh! Quackborner gets a good piece. It stays up. Parker Jeez. Howard nearly able to run it down. I thought that was going to be the same thing that happened to Jordan. I haven't got close, and even when they had the timeout, the offense got in. Here's a, a nice here's a flick shot. bomb to a wide Jordan open Kenny there, Lane. Oh, oh, a nice grab. Kenny Lane with a, a pretty impressive up. Wow. That, that was a great catch. Michael Tran's going to need to be very active. Finds Gibson underneath, and Gibson with a nice backhand rip Beautiful. for Travis Dunn. That, that is a dime. That was the throw of the game so far. Gibson with a beautiful backhand down the line to a, to a, a speedy Travis Dunn uh, sprinting. That was, that was, that was special. Uh, that's why we like Gibson, and that's why we're... we're up. Carter by Levinsky. Bertonson now with the disc. Nice cut. Ooh, a nice dump cut. Ooh, yeah, a nice break throw boom. and a huge grab layout there from Garrett Martin. Massive catch. Um, you, you saw he wanted to throw that break, though. Like, he crouched down and threw the break. Like, he didn't even fake. So the marks just got to be a little tighter up there. But great grab from Garrett Martin. That was a massive layout. Gosh. Yeah, with this stage of the game, you want to go up three into the half. Instead, Cascades are going to get a chance. A rush huck from Accus, and Brown is there. And a huge grab from Jack Brown over Trevor Purdy. I mean, that, that's why you don't rush that throw from Salmon. I mean, there's no reason to throw that here. You know, I want him to have the disc in the middle and be able to break either way. A little give-go there from Michael Tran. Outside shoulder, and that'll work for a goal. Nice throw from Dunn. I mean, I would say he hasn't been the most crisp on his throws today, but they've been working, and that one I felt like it was a similar thing. It's where one, two throws, turnover. This is Brown by Martin himself. Martin has Brown. Oh, and it's a beautiful shot. Easy to run on for Jack Brown. Dunn and Michael Tran now working for the Growlers offense out of the timeout. Nice. And Gibson. Double clutches and he still Jeez. shoots. See three cascades. Another chasing. beautiful throw. Are you kidding me? Three Are you kidding chasing me? Chasing Stefan Samu, and that's another dime from Gibson. I, he hesitated and then he said, "You know what? I've got this throw. I already had a nice one earlier. Let's see it ride." <laughs> I can't believe he, he had the power to to like double clutch that throw and still let that throw go off. Amazing distance and just a dime for Samu. I mean, and it was nice underneath for Samu. Rice was cutting deep. He's looked off in favor of Dunn. Toes it in. And Dunn's going to shoot nice now. Michael Tran Michael. is clearing. Keep Just hangs in. up. What wow. A grab. He got up for that. Woo! Michael Tran, the hair is flowing. The mustache is beautiful. And there's a the smile. Was a, that was a great catch. So Growler starting on offense, as we indicated before the break. Oh, and a, a low throw is up. Michael Tran finds Travis Dunn on the far sideline. Dunn's going to shoot a backhand yeah. rip. Samu is in pursuit. Wow. Wow. Oh. I think Alex Kabak maybe got a piece of that. It looked like he was there. Samu ran it down the whole way, and what a score. Where has Samu been? I mean, he is playing out of his mind this game. 
good as sportsmanship he, yeah, there. As he consults the player, uh, Alex Kabat, but man, Travis let one go on this one. Yeah, Steph. Nice grab from Lane. Up the line. Oh, great throw. Great catch from Garrett Martin. Points to the camera. He knows where it is. There's that he said, you know, plus minus this game and making San Diego fans uh, nervous. Yeah, so we took under six and a half. Gibson is the first option now for the Growler stack. Dunn coming to the side, slipped oh, off, and a throwaway to the poach. Just Lopez Escarez was just waiting for that. Gibson just was like a uh, robotic there. He just went through his motions. He faked a backhand and threw a flick and just didn't look. Michael Tran on the oh, mark. Geez. A nice little push pass across the goal line. That's another break. This fourth quarter has gone all cascades, Steve. Nice throw there from Bryce to find Max Gibson over to Samu now. Back to Lazinski. Nice throw, and Samu's gone. Dunn's gonna shoot, it has to be outside, it's gonna float. And it's gonna fall oh. the hands of Gibson was there. Is he trying to argue he caught that? Because he did not, didn't look like he caught it. Yeah, I don't know what Gibson has. To compound, you know, compound interest. You know, Warren Buffett says eight one there of the world. <laughs> Thanks for that. For that uh, oh, oh that great D. Sneaks in. I don't know if that was even his man. And no foul, and, and definitely wasn't his man. So a, a, kind of the same style of poach D that you throw a guy who's wide open and man. just being aware as a defender, Quackborn able to make a play on that disc. Lane will pick up for the Cascades. Over to Martin now, guarded yeah. by Bryce. Cascades, that's who they want that have the disc is Martin. Garrett Martin on the doorstep with a nice quick throw. Again, gunslinger style. Yeah, I mean, they, they've taken all the, uh, all the oxygen out of the room right now with the Cascades. We're about to tick under a minute here, Steven. It's a one-point game, so critical possession for the Cascades. They cannot afford a turnover here. Nice underneath for Garrett they Martin. They got who they wanted Martin's with a disc, and shoot. Martin lets a, a wonderful throw. Will it he keep it in? in? Bounds. Wow. Amazing grab from Jack Jeez. Brown. Man. Jack Brown with a, a big time layout. Just no mark on Martin there to allow him, but that was an incredible throw, an incredible catch. All uh, business there for Brown. Yep. And that was, Mar Martin's really made me eat my, my uh, plus seven, a quiet plus seven. That was a huge throw. Oh, Nice grab catch. from Kenny Lane. Jeez, Lane's had a Lane couple of Lane gets up and shoots a huge huck. Brown is open. And Cascades are going to score with that. That's a great shot. I I don't know if he knew he was cutting when he fell to the ground, but he got up throwing as if their play yeah. was still on. Quick around there. Nice around for Ruben. Back to Dunn. Back to Ruben. Ruben's looking for cuts. Dunn's pretty well guarded, and it's downfield. And a great Ruben, block by Spencer Lofink. I think Ruben was looking for a little bit of a, a, little bit of a foul in the mark. What a grab from Dunn there. Quick corner put it up. I was like in, I was just worried. Sigurud, oh, had Reggie Sung maybe down the break side, but. Uh, yeah, it's a good holster. Back to Sigurud. Dunn. Sigurud and Dunn back is not probably what Kevin drew up, but they're getting the disc moving. Sigurud is open. Got time, you got time, you got time. Jeez. Oh my gosh, what a grab, Sigurud. Kate Sigurud. Calm down. Have plenty Quick of time. With the disc. Oh, big nice hammer. hammer from Quick Corner. Finds Reggie Sung at the back of the end zone. Growlers, sigh of relief. <laughs> this was an offensive point for them to start overtime. I, I just became a fan. I was just watching and not saying anything. So that was probably not great for the stream. But no, I'm just sometimes we got to let it breathe. <laughs> yeah, geez. I think Jordan. I think Jordan was tired of handling in the back, and he's like, you know what? I'm throwing a hammer. This he's was like, the throw that I Lothink with the scuba for Dominic Jacobs. Back to Lothink. Lothink finds Chris Roach. Seven seconds. The disc is up. Oh. 
Oh my god. At the buzzer. Lofink catches it. Not sure if he was in. Collects himself. Uh, there might be a, hold on, we're gonna see if there's a call. The refs are gonna talk this over just to confirm. The call Looks on the like field a was a touchdown. There's one second left. Oh my God. Kind of have sort of a Hail Mary one second. You're gonna have to. Some sort of greatest from greatest. midfield. Jeez. And time expires. Cascades are able to pull off an upset on the road. Topping the Growlers 2019 here in single overtime. I can't believe it. I mean, <laughs> the Growlers were up beginning of the first quarter all the way to the end. Got beat up in the fourth quarter. Then they had an opportunity at 19-19. And you can see the body language is the same it has been, it seemed like, since the second quarter when they were winning. But now they actually lost the game. And that's something that, you know, it is a young team missing a lot of players. But the Cascades...